Welcome to Stone Cold Classics and today we have my very own 1967 Ford F100 pickup truck. Um, reluctantly decided to sell and uh, this car has quite a rich history so as you can see on the side it says Gas Monkey Garage. This was the truck that featured in series one of Gas Monkey. This was the shop truck from the show. Uh, I bought this car from Big Chris Smith, who is friends with Richard Rawlings, and um, brought the car to the UK in 2013. I bought the car in 2016, and I've had it ever since. I've done about 8,000 miles in it. It's my summer shop truck, so it goes to bed around um, end of September, early October, and comes out again in May around about May. So it's never seen a, a, um, a British winter in my hands. I've done quite a bit to it. Uh, I've, never, I've never altered the looks of it because it's exactly as it appeared on the show. But what we have done over the years is um, rocker cover gaskets because they were leaking, uh, new tyres all round. Actually quite a tricky size because they're um, 17s but they're, uh, they're, as you can see on the back, they're a big old um, profile on them and these ones are 275 6017 so quite a tricky tyre to source which is hence why we end up with Nankangs not my favourite tyre but not a terrible tyre either so uh, but they're all uh, they've got a few thousand miles on them but they're all in great condition with plenty plenty of life left in them um, we've done a battery we've done a oil service we've done uh, had a problem with the distributor at one point that was replaced um, uh, the floors were actually quite rusty, so they've been replaced and repaired. The pins that hold the cab to the chassis were rusty, so they've been replaced. Uh, battery tray was rusty, that's been replaced. And uh, one of the rocker, rocker sort of um, gas, I guess it's rocker sort of panels um, in the driver's door was a bit rusty, and that's been repaired. Um, so she's now pretty solid all round. And uh, it's been ultra reliable for me. Like I said, I only had one problem with the distributor. Um, this just needed a replacement. Um, the engine in this car is a um, 1989 Ford Mustang 5 litre fuel injected engine. I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, mated with a free speed plus overdrive automatic gearbox column shift. The whole front end is full Crown Victoria, so suspension, clip brakes, everything's off a full Crown Vic, so you wouldn't believe how well this handles for what it is. It will go round the corner and it will stop. It's not the best brakes in the world because it's a heavy old beast, but it stops, it stops well, not like a typical American scary car. Um, back axle is a 2003 Ford F100 with inboard discs and the wheels are all Mustang wheels, um, American racing Mustang wheels. Uh, you can see this discs on the back there. It's just an incredibly practical thing. We use it all the time. We're always stuff in the back. That colour in the back is the original colour. This was a camper, we believe, because it's got holes in there for the badges, plus holes here for the bigger wing mirrors that would have gone on the camper version. So it probably had a camp bed on, camper on there at one point. We'll have a look at the paperwork in a minute, but you'll see that it was owned by who we believe is Aaron Kaufman's father or brother. Certainly, uh, one of the Kaufmans owned it. Um, Richard Rawlings kindly signed the dash for me when he was in uh, uh, Petro Hedonism uh, a couple of years ago. And we've got photographs of him doing that. I've got photographs of me with Chris buying the car. Um, yeah, and other, other bits of paperwork and pieces of obviously uh, Richard and, and Aaron with the car when it was uh, in the show. So I'm going to open the bonnet, which normally takes two hands, so excuse me for a second. Really, really heavy bonnet. There we go. So here's that five litre. Pure injected, we've got the big battery. As you can see, she's patinaed everywhere, but not rusty. I've certainly not got any rust here in my ownership. On the brakes there, there is a brake uh, bias balance little thing in purple there, which you can basically put all the power to the rear wheels and do burnouts if you want to. 
Um, I've never done that, but I, there is a video online of Chris doing it for a burnout challenge. I'll put that in the ad. Um, the only things we've added, we've added these rear view mirrors. We should fall deaf when I rear view mirrors just because there were none. And I like to be able to see behind me. <laughs> um, let's have a look inside. We believe that Sue did these. If you watch the show, you'll know who I'm talking about. It's, we believe that, we've not been confirmed by Chris, but um, at, at the time it would be logical for her to do it. It's got a full carpet set in it. It's the keys, there's only one key with it. And the only reason being is that the only real place you can get a replacement is Walmart. And I haven't been to a Walmart for a little while. Um, we've got a level lined dash there, and snake skin seats, fire extinguisher, GT Grant wheel, which has always been on the car. We jump in, vintage air, which has just been regassed and is lovely and cold. We've got uh, CD player in there if you need it, can't uh, barely hear it. And there's Richard's signature from GMG from a few years ago. Again, like I say, we have uh, got a photograph of them doing it. Uh, we repainted the headliner at one point because it was really ratty. She appeared in classic and sports car last month. That is the, um, I think that is the June issue. Or July issue, and this is on the front cover. Mild to wild modified classics, and we get a full page spread of the car in the uh, in the magazine, which I'm really proud of. A great photograph, and they loved it. If you read that magazine, they the JJ who drove the truck really uh, agreed with me that it does handle for considering what it is. It's you can throw this thing round a roundabout and it will stick. It's good fun. Um, it surprises a lot of people. It's not fast, but off the line, if you get done it, it will go and it will beat a lot of cars off the line. But um, the, you're kind of happy around 60, 70 on the motorway. And actually with that, that overdrive, it's been relatively economical for me. So, um, you know, I, I put, I filled the tank up in, when I bought it from Chris in Lincolnshire. And I can't remember what it cost me, but it, it, we filled it up and I'm thinking, you know, how many times am I going to have to stop to get back to Kent? When I got back to Kent, I still had half a tank. So, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. This is the repair we did on the uh, on the door, um, and that's just to match the other side in the black. So it stays looking like it did when it was on the show. Um, it's still got an old Ford sticker there on the door. I think the thing we have to do though, is start it up, because this thing sounds amazing. That's the thing I'm gonna miss about it the most, isn't it? Right, right, are you ready? If you're on the headphones, it's a headphone warning. It starts really angry and then settles, but listen to this. Side exit exhaust down there. So a nice short exhaust, that's hence why it's so loud. It starts first time every time, never failed me, apart from that one little uh, issue with the distributor. There's the sticker that Richard put on the back when this car appeared in one of the episodes and was uh, the idea was if Chris could beat um, Richard in a race in Corvettes, then you get a better deal on it and lo and behold, he did win. And uh, as it left, Richard put that sticker on the back just saying there's the gas monkey mark. And that's that. Um, it's all... Um, uh, it's got a uh, clear coat all over it, as you'd expect, to protect the um, protect the, the patina. And um, there's a little bit of peel here and there, a couple of bits on the bonnet, and a little bit on the roof. Um, but it's not something that's worried me. You can just basically clear coat over the top of it if you want to. And you've got the... <laughs> the tailgate comes all, obviously comes down and... It's a huge load of space. It's a short wheelbase, obviously. It's a, a short bed, as they call it in the States, and this is, that's the one to have. Still got the Jesus Saves sticker on the back, which you will see in the uh, in the um, in the show if you watch it. So yeah, like I said, I basically lift it as it is. That down there, that oil is from a Inkle Trojan, not this car. Um, yes, like I say, loads of. There's a tread on the tyres, and loads of grip on them as well. It's, so it's, just a, it's just a really, really great truck. 
Um, I want to show you some more paperwork actually. Um, obviously running on off an ECU there, so it's modern and like I say, air conditioning. So that's 50 years of arms being rested out the window. Um, again, let's have a look at some paperwork. So we've got the original or the last um, thingy from the America, from America, the title from America, and that is in David Kaufman's name, which I think, I think I could be corrected, but I think that's Aaron's dad. Here's Aaron's list of modifications. There's a copy, unfortunately, but Chris kept the original. And I will read it out. It says, uh, motor is stock 89 5 litre 302 uh, 1989 Crown Vic. Apologies, I think I said Mustang, Mustang but it probably is the same uh, engine. Uh, Trans is 89 AOD. Can't read that. Crown Vic, yep, Crown Vic as well. Fuel pump 1989 Crown Vic, frame mounted under driver. Tank is 1967 Ford F100, front suspension 2003 to 2005 Crown Vic, no mods, 12 inch disc, dual, can't read that. Uh, rear suspension is leaf springs over stock 67. Um, can't remember, something is reverse bushings. Uh, shocks are mantle outboard, uh, da -da 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 -da, sway bars, blah, blah. blah. Uh, rear axle is 2003 F-150, 8.8, 3.55 gears, posi. So yeah, that's all the bits and bobs on that. We've got this as well, we'll take this as a pinch of salt, but it's, um, this obviously came from Richard Rawlins and Aaron Kaufman. It's a valuation of the truck, saying to build it again will cost $75,000 in today's climate, and that was a few years ago, but... Uh, the reason it's so expensive is because obviously they do top end builds now and uh, you're just paying for their time. So um, I don't expect anyone to pay $75,000 for this truck. Um, I'm the second UK owner, Chris. I bought it from Chris in 2016. So like I said, I've had it eight years, I'm 8,000 miles. The odometer is now on 99,636. So I was trying to get it to 100,000 and I am still using it and I will still use it. I've MOT'd it every year as you have to because it is highly modified. So anything highly modified still has to go through the MOT, but you don't have to tax it, it's still zero tax. Uh, but anyway, a car like this, if you can use it regular MOT, it's just sensible. Um, so we've got lots of documents in there for my ownership and a bit on Chris's. And uh, there she is. So yeah, if you're interested in this piece of TV history, and uh, yeah, please give me a ring, it's Wayne. Um, Stone Cold Classics and it's 077 or check out the website I have a full picture set and some more videos I'll put videos of the, um, this video plus video of Chris doing the burnout challenge and anything else I can find online there's a few out there of this truck um, it was on stage at Petrol Hedonism a couple of years ago with Richard um, so you, there's lots of pictures on the internet of it um, and yeah, if you're interested, yeah, go to the website, like I say, full description will be there, lots of videos and pictures, and um, price TBC, won't be cheap, because I love it, I don't really want to sell it, but I've been unwell last year, and I need really a bit more money to put into stocks, so um, reluctantly for sale. Um, yes, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, if you like cars like this, please like and subscribe, thank you.